Hello again, thanks for clicking on by. So today is Thursday, Throwback Thursday. I've done a couple episodes and it's been, well, it's been months <laughs> since I've done a Throwback Thursday and I have lots of old technology. Don't we all just sitting around the house? So today it's old with the new. The old technology that we're revisiting is this bad boy, the Sunto Advisor, yeah. This is from the year 1999 or 2000. I bought it in 2000. It was a Christmas present from, from me to me. <laughs> bought it at REI. It was on sale for, I think, $299, which, you know, 22, 23 years ago, that was a lot of coin. This watch is really cool because not only, you know, is it your normal watch, but... The Sunto was one of the first watches that I knew of that you could strap with this. <laughs> this is the old school heart rate monitor, and I'm not I'm not gonna take off my shirt today. You, you put it around your chest like this. And, yeah, it still fits. Yeah, you just wear it like that while you're running or skiing or whatnot. This thing comes with a 56-page manual, LCD screen, alarm, heart rate monitor, dual time, altimeter, countdown timer, stopwatch, logbook, six different, well, a whole bunch of sports, backlight, and water resistant to 100 feet. However, <laughs> Walmart, the local grocery store, or not even, uh, what's it called? Walgreens had the CR2430 coin battery that goes in the back. I have the O-ring, which is nice. If you look right here, there's this little rubber ring that goes around that. See that? It's kind of a, yeah, it's hard to get back on. Anyway, I'm going to have it on very soon and we'll do a follow-up next week because I get the battery, I think, on Saturday, according to Amazon, and then I'm going to wear this one and What's inside this box? The Sunto 9. I want to see what Sunto has done over the last two decades, 23 years. So while we wait for Amazon to deliver a simple battery, I, I, yeah. You used to be able to go to the store and there'd be this wall, anyway. But I still have the heart rate monitor and oh, that's tight. The heart rate monitor sure have changed. Here, we'll get to the unboxing in just a second. This is a more modern one. So if you look, this is rigid plastics. Whoop, there goes the strap. It's really heavy. It's, yeah, pesante, as the Italians say. This one, wow, look at the flexibility. Look at the sensors. And on these old ones, you had to go like this ah, ah, and lick them because if the sensors weren't wet, it would not work. And then when you really start to run fast, it would slide down your chest. Oh boy, these new ones, they have grippies on them. They're lighter. Oh wait, it has a replaceable battery and they have another newer one. You just recharge it. <sighs> Come on. But again, technology, yes, it changes year to year. This one you just snap on so it's not always looking for a signal. But truth be told, back when I did use this Polar, which is, yeah, logo has not changed much. The logo is still the same. Good job, Polar. So Polar worked with Sunto and it worked great. Uh, if I, I guess it's okay. I went running with Gary and Mike and we were running all the time and Gary and I both had these Sunto advisors. Man, we thought we were so cool. And then after the workout, we'd write down all of our stats and it was great. So I'm gonna go do a workout with both of these watches before next Thursday. So this is part one of Sunto Advisor versus Sunto 9, the 23 year gap. I, I haven't decided on the title. To be honest, I, I usually go through four or five titles. So it's going to be something with Sunto, but throwback. All right, let's unbox the Sunto 9 so I can start wearing it and we'll go from there. Okay, here goes nothing. Make a small incision.
or just rip the whole thing open. <laughs> Hang on. <gasps> Ta-da! Okay, we got a packaging invoice, which usually has my address on it. Sunto package list. Da -da -da -da. Deutschland? That's cool. Came from Deutschland. So if you didn't know, Sunto is a Finnish company. <gasps> the Sunto 9. Whoa. Nice embossed logo. Gen 1 Black. Great battery life. 20 to 170 hours. Where this one is estimated anywhere from 12 to 18 months. When I was running a lot, I would get about 6 to 8 months. Fuse track. It goes on Google Play or App Store. I'm going to connect it to Google Play. Share your passion with the Sunto app. Cool, cool, cool. Thousands of hours of testing in the toughest conditions. Mineral glass. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, GPS navigation. See that? They didn't really have that. You know, I still really like unboxings, to be honest. Wow. Shiny. So we gently take it out of the box. Oh, and there's the charger. Wow, the band has a nice texture to it. Nice little foam thing, all right. So it's just three button navigation, where this one had four. Kind of reminds me of my Polar Grid X, just a little bit. Bigger. How does this compare? It's a little bigger. Girth? Hmm. Let's turn it on, shall we? I'm just guessing that's the power button. Maybe it's that one. Maybe it's that one. Maybe I should read the manual. Ah, there's a manual. How do you get the manual? There we go. Whoa. Sunto 9. Product information, model OW183, international, limited warranty. Okay, pause. Press and hold the upper button to wake up your watch. I was so close. I'm holding, you know, maybe the battery's dead. Maybe this has been sitting on a shelf for the last many moons. Okay, the charger is interesting. Oh, it's on, yay. Oh, that is quite the sensor on the back. Okay, select a language, yes. English, yes. Welcome. Now if I go back, can I go back? Let's just see what languages they have. Espanol, French, Italian, Netherlands, Norsk, Portuguese, Suomi, Zvezka. Not sure what that one is or that one. Chestina, Poleski. Russian, Turkish, not sure, not sure. So you can hear the vibration motor, that's nice. Spanish, English, Dutch, and that's yeah, pretty good. We'll choose English. Welcome. Well, I'll tell you this much, the screen is a lot brighter than the advisor. Define your profile, okay. I'm a male. Oh, interesting that they don't have binary or I don't want to tell you. Birth year, hang on. Now we get to choose metric or imperial. I'm gonna go with metric. 24 hour, yes. I have to give my weight. I think I'm about 72, sounds about right. How tall am I? I don't know. I think that's about right. I can always change this, right? Connect with mobile. Continue the setup, download the Sunto app. And there's my info. Okay, what does it say later? It is highly recommended <laughs> that you connect your mobile before taking a while. Okay, all right. Later. I just want to look at the watch. Time it. Ah, okay, we'll connect it. So we're going to have to download the app. Sunto. That looks right. Sunto. Install and pause. That downloaded really quick. Open. So it looks like I need to uh, register. Be right back. 
Okay, now I have to sign my life away. Welcome to the community and adventure. Also acknowledge that the sports community debt is transferred between. I agree. Welcome to the community. Oh, that's fun. Happy exploring. Allow location. Sure. While using the app. Skip. Welcome. Nice. Start by pairing your Suunto device. Select a state. Okay. And looking for devices. Found a device. Pair. Allow access. Yes. Pairing failed. Restart pairing. Found a device. Pair. Please wait. This may take a while. Pair. Pairing code. Yep, I did that. Watch info. Connect. I did that. Ah, huh, that's weird. Okay, pair. Let's try this again. Pairing code. There we go. Ooh, it makes sounds. That's nice. Sunto 9 is now paired. Welcome to your new Sunto 9 and Sunto app. Start. Enrich your sports experience. Sweet. Record activity, track activity trends, and sleep. I hope it tracks naps. Control your battery life. You can adjust battery life. Excellent. Explore more with heat maps. That sounds cool. Connect to other sports and devices. Very cool. You are good to go. Oh, look, I'm going to become a triathlete. Syncing, optimizing GPS performance. Most excellent. And honestly, uh, we should probably charge it. So it looks like you just charge it. Whoa, that is one powerful magnet. Allow Sunto to imagine, manage Sunto. All right. Watch connectivity needs permission. Never ask again. Continue. Allow. Allow. So we're allowing real time. Okay. Sounds good. Allow. 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 A lot of allowing. Okay, still sinking, so we're going on 10 minutes here, folks. Now, with these older watches, there was no setup. You just turned it on and set the time, and that was it. Man, I've had this so long, the word advisor is worn out. Now, I have not worn this in years. I hope it still works. Watch basics. Get to know your watch in a few steps. Start. Main menu above, start with an exercise. Great. We're at 70% battery, nice. Monitor daily well-being and goals. Steps, great. Tap to toggle view. Return to watch face. Easy enough. Keep press for options. Shortcuts, do not disturb. Swipe back. Very cool, that's pretty easy. All done, all right. That was easy. 71%. So we're going to let this charge for a bit. BRB. And we're back. Read some more of the manual because I've made that mistake before. I like it. So far, I, I like it. It's, <laughs> it's difficult when you've, when you've worn so many watches because it's, I strive not to be biased. Whenever I unbox a new gadget, whether it's a watch, whether it's a smart ring, whether it's, you know, a charging brick or just anything like that, I just try to clear my mind like, okay, what am I looking at? And I just try to put my blinders on and not think about Phoenix or Polar or Apple or Samsung or the, yeah. But, so we're not going to talk about Phoenix or anything else right now. It's just, just Sunto. And wow, <laughs> what a difference two decades make. So let me show you something. So announces the original watch was almost two ounces. And the new watch, you know, I've been waiting for quite a while to let it fully charge. I'm just going to unplug it and call it good because I want to, I want to wear it. I want to play with the new toy. Whoa, two and a half. So it's a whole half ounce heavier.
not a big difference. Surprisingly, I was going to, yeah, I thought the newer one was going to be a lot bigger, but just under two ounces, 2.5. Wow. It did, but it feels heavier. Half an hour. Oh, I got to close my knife. All right, and now the heart rate monitor. So this is a newer one, bipolar. Hopefully we can get it all on the scale. Just over two ounces, 2.15. Where's the old one? Where'd that strap go? Ah, there it is. Almost three, okay. But again, man, this feels so much heavier. So two decades, things change. Let's take a look at the wear. So off with the old, well, not old. This is the uh, Within Scan watch, which I've already reviewed. Okay, I must say the band is comfortable, easy to put on. I like the branding and whoa, are those lights bright. Interesting, it almost looks, yeah, they kind of rounded it up instead of made it more straight. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's cool. Wow, those sensors are really bright. So my initial impressions are, I like it. It reminds me a lot of other watches that I've worn, which is not bad, it's not good. Comfortable, smell test. <coughs> okay. Well, this one's been worn. Yeah, it smells. Smells like a new pair of shoes, actually. Yeah, smells like a new pair of shoes. I like the backlight. Raised to wake, the backlight comes on. The visibility is good. I like how you can tap to wake. I also found out that you can long press. That's cool. I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you the watch faces. There are sounds, which is really good. A lot of watches don't do sounds, and sometimes that's good for me. I like the sounds and you can turn them off. I have not found a way to customize the sounds and that bothers me with some watches. I mean, if you're gonna go to the trouble and create a watch that has, you know, sounds and alerts and make it so you can have different sounds with those alerts, similar to other smart watches. But uh, yeah, not too heavy. Does not feel as heavy as this Phoenix 7X. Sorry, couldn't, couldn't help. But yeah, definitely, oh, well, there's a sound right there. Bedtime's approaching. So it just notified me of my aura ring telling me, so that's nice. Now I did have to manually go in and say, yes, I want to track sleep, which, you know, I can see that being a good point. Not everyone wants to track your sleep. The emoticons in Facebook messages show up as squares. I'll show that later and probably next week because you need, maybe there's an update. According to the manual and a video that I watched while I was charging, I have to connect to a computer to run the update, which it's connected to my phone. Anyway, Facebook message replies, tried that, it works. I'll show that again next week. And yeah, I'm gonna sleep with it tonight and several nights. So here's the tap to wake. Oh, good reader. So that's my email notification. So I can just swipe back. If I long press on the middle button, I can go to shortcuts and I can turn off backlight, turn on, that's nice. I can go to alarms, timer, right there. And I can go to watch face. Okay, that took a little bit to load. So we have more than five options. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's nice, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve different options for watches, watch faces that is. I'm gonna try this one. And then we can customize the color. Ooh, let's go with that bold one there. And then it should apply it. And there's my watch face. And if I swipe to the right, I have my notifications. Oh, sorry, media. I have not found a way to change that. And then here's my battery percent and notifications. And then I can't reply to that. I guess if I just swipe, 
See, I would think that if I just long press on it, I could clear it, but it's not, it's not letting me do that. I guess I have to go back to the manual. And then if I swipe up, there's my heart rate. Swipe up again. No stress recovery measured. I'll look into that. 89 steps. Training, zero. I'm gonna go for a walk. And then here's the sleep part of it. So that's kind of cool. And then you just go to, I wonder if you can do this and go back to home. Nope. So if I swipe back, swipe, nope. That should take me back to the watch face. Back. See, on some other watches I've used, that's just scrolling through empty data of sleep. No, I just... See, to me, a long press on this button should take me back to the screen. So now if I do a long press here, nothing happens. But if I do a long press here, then it goes to shortcuts. All right. Some more fun stuff to look into. Good times. Close up on the band for you. Very soft, I like that. Quick release, very nice. The buttons do protrude a bit, but I don't mind it. The touch sensitivity is pretty responsive, better, some other, better than some other watches I've had. For 300, yeah, not too shabby. More to come. So just to summarize, next week we'll have the data from the last six days. Well, from the next six, anyway. <laughs> so in a week, I'll have a whole bunch of data between the 2000 series and the 2000, the 2022. So 2000 versus 2022. Wow, that's... Whew. We have barometric pressure we can measure. We have heart rate. I'm gonna hack this open and replace the battery. That'll be a fun video. And we'll just compare as much as we can between these two watches. And thanks for watching my Throwback Thursday visit video. See you again next Thursday. That's all for now. Goodbye.